Hi, I'm Michelle. I'm a certified health coach, and today we're going to talk about how to make good choices when you're confronted with this huge buffet at a holiday party full of delicious but maybe not so good for you foods. Okay, so you walk into your holiday party and you check out this giant buffet full of delicious foods that maybe aren't so good for you, and you have no idea what to eat. It's happened to me too, but don't worry, you can eat. Eating's good. You just have to make better choices. So first things first, check out the veggies on the table. Your best bets are gonna be raw veggies like this, the crudite. These have tons of fiber and they're super hydrating. Next thing on the table is dip at every Pelazon family holiday that I go to. My aunt makes this incredible cheese dip and one time I watched her make it and I saw what went in it and I was scarred for life. So usually those creamy yummy dips have tons of mayo, cream cheese, regular cheese, cream, Ugh. makes you feel not so great, slows your digestion, and overall it's just not so great for you. So instead, have a little bit of that dip and then fill up on something like hummus. Hummus is just made with chickpeas and tahini and chickpeas and tahini are amazing for your skin and they also have a ton of fiber so they're gonna leave you a little bit more full for longer. Next thing, chips. Ugh, they're so good. I just wanna load my plate up with them. I love the salty crunch behind a potato chip but Instead of going with those, try going with olives. They're super briny and salty, so they'll satisfy your craving. And they're also a superfood. They're really good for you. They have vitamin A, vitamin C, and really healthy fats that make your skin and hair look amazing. Okay, so you've safely navigated the entire buffet table, and then you get to desserts. <laughs> what do you do? Okay, I'm gonna give you permission as a nutritionist to go ahead and pick a cookie up. Cookies are great because number one, they taste good. They're gonna satisfy your sweet tooth especially Christmas cookies, and it's one single serving, as opposed to something like cake or pie or ice cream where you can load it up on your plate and you don't even know where to stop. So just pick up one cookie, or if cookies aren't your thing, try some tiramisu. Tiramisu is actually a really light dessert, relatively low in calories and low in sugar. So it's a really good option if you're looking for something that feels decadent, but isn't gonna make you feel horrible the next day. What's a cocktail party without cocktails, right? We know you're gonna drink, but you can still do it in moderation. And I want you to remember that rule that you learned in college. For every alcoholic drink, you need to drink one glass of water. And if you want extra credit points, go for bubbly or mineral water. Mineral water naturally has minerals in it that'll help your body digest a little bit more easily. And it's got bubbles, which will keep you fuller for longer and will hopefully help you drink a little bit less. These are my tips for choosing the best plate at a holiday buffet. If you have any questions about how to make really good holiday choices, just leave them as comments below. See you soon.